Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today is Wednesday, so that means it's what you're working on Wednesday. Also, Jesse's in the living room playing a game on the TV, so there's noise. But, you know, it's off. Anyways, today I'm working on a new whip out of this book. <laughs> I know I've been showing this a lot lately, but that's usually how I am when I get books. I like to do stuff from them. But, uh, and these are really quick little patterns. So I've already made the uh, ladybug and the bumblebee, so now I'm working on the turtle. So this is Happy Gurumi. Some people have been lucky and found it on... I mean, not on, but at the Dollar Tree, which is a store here in the U.S. Um, I know Canada's got their own version of one called, like, Dollarama, but I don't know if other countries do. But anyways, it's like a cheap, kind of like an outlet store almost. It's like stuff, a lot of the stuff is from other stores. When they can't sell it, they sell it to Dollar Tree, and Dollar Tree sells it for cheaper. Anyways, some of these books made their way there. <laughs> some people have been finding them. And uh, this copy was gifted to me for me, and then I have another copy that's actually going to be in a giveaway in a couple days here on the channel so keep your eyes peeled for that um, and I'll post that giveaway video sometime this week probably Thursday or Friday but I'm working on the turtle like I said and here's a better picture of it bigger picture of it super cute little turtle I just started working on it this morning um, actually because I finished my baby blanket yesterday evening so I didn't have any active whips so I wanted to make something another quick project just because it makes me happy to finish things quickly but, so I got his little legs done. There's his little legs. <laughs> Just little, uh, legs. This is a scrap ball. It's Red Heart. I think it's like, frosty something. It's frost something to do with, I can't remember. <laughs> it's like, the color is frosty something, but I can't remember now. Or maybe it's time. Maybe it's light time. It's frost something or time. <laughs> one of the two but it's a scrap ball I have left over from forever ago so I got his legs and his head and his little safety eyes and I'm working on the shell which looks like a pie <laughs> I, I chose this scrap ball because I didn't have another variegated scrap ball that I thought would go good with this green so I was like well I'll use this weird speckly one that someone gifted me and uh, it looks like a pie crust <laughs> I'm, I'm about I got to where I'm going to stop so that I can sew the head on and start stuffing the body and then I might look at the leg placement. I need to do probably one more row and then I can sew the legs on and then close it up. But uh, I thought it was so funny. It looks like a pie <laughs> without the uh, the pie tin under it. But yeah, I think it's gonna be cute once I get his little head on there. He'll look like a turtle. And then when I get the bottom finished, his little legs will sew on there and be cute. He doesn't have a tail. I guess if you wanted to, you could make your own tail and stick it out. Actually, I'll put the head on this side because that's where the the row join is so it's kind of divided in so I'll put the head right there to hide that I think it's gonna be really cute though it just looks like a pie I don't know what this cart this yarn is called I know it's red heart but it's like a tweedy color I don't know what it's called <laughs> something to do a tweed I imagine but yeah I accidentally left a ginormous strand on the head I have no idea how that even happened I wasn't paying attention when I cut it so that's way too much but I have plenty of yarn to sew it on but yeah, so I'm almost done with that. And then I don't know what I want to make next out of this book. Maybe the bird. Because I think it's really cute. I think I might make it red like a cardinal. They're all really cute. I think there's more patterns in there than what's on the cover. But yeah, so this is a really cute book. Yeah, it says there's 20. So if you can, if you have a Dollar Tree near you, go check it out and see if you can find this book. This is what the spine looks like if they have them lined up like that. Because my Dollar Tree has them like that. You can't see the covers without picking them up. But, uh, the spine is like a light blue color if you're looking at spines <laughs> but you can also get it off of Amazon and I think there were some on thrift books but I can't remember I know it's for sure on Amazon because I had it in my my wish list until I got it gifted to me but yeah so that's what I'm working on this Wednesday so what are you guys working on leave me a comment below let me know if you're crocheting or knitting or weaving or cross stitching or sewing or no craft and you're just doing house stuff are you budgeting are you doing what <laughs> just let me know down below what you're doing i have a huge variety of interests <laughs> so i love to know what you're doing even if it has nothing to do with crafts and um yeah so i got i've been cleaning all morning then i sat down to work on this while i ate some lunch well, you know, I ate lunch and then I worked on this. And now I'm sitting there watching Little House on Prairie. But I got some more cleaning stuff to do. I got to get ready for dinner later. It's early still. It's almost 12. But I got to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner. So I can have it ready for dinner time. And, uh, yeah. Tomorrow, Devin's off work. So I have to go to Hobby Lobby 
to buy some fabric. I'm just gonna buy fabric from Hobby Lobby this time because I don't wanna go all the way to Joanne. It's almost an hour drive and I just don't feel like making that long of a drive for fabric. So the next shop update will have a bunch of cute prints, but they won't be licensed prints because our Hobby Lobby only carries a handful of licensed prints, but that's okay. It's all good in the hood. I'm happy. You're happy. Everybody's happy. <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here and finish this little turtle because I mean, that's all I got left to do and then sew them together. So he will be a finished object in the next No Catchy Name episode, which will come out eventually. But I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.